Today we have a homemade motor made of paper clips. This is a, a paper clip here. We have paper clips up here on the uh, armature. It's made of a paper clip. We have thumbtacks. We have a bunch of wire and we have a couple uh, 16 penny ma uh, nails. As you can see, this is called a two pole motor because there's only two coils in the armature. This motor uses the same process of repelling and attracting just as the other motors that we've shown that allows this motor to spin. Each motor we have shown so far uses the same process of attracting and repelling that comes through the flip. Okay, this, this down here, if you look at the commutator, you can see parts of it. It's 180 degrees offset. You have the brushes on the same side. Well, if you can imagine, this thing is right in the middle. It will actually get stuck. And that's called a dead spot. And that's generally two pole motors will have a dead spot in them. So that means you pretty much have to start it on your own. This it was probably the most difficult motor I had to build, uh, mainly because of the, you got to have persistence, you got to have perseverance uh, to be able to get this thing to work. Now, <clears throat> right here you will probably see some sparks going, and uh, you think, oh, that's neat. Well, no, it's not neat because what's uh, happening is you are shorting out uh, the, the uh, uh, commutator. And if you're shorting out the commutator, that means you're wasting energy, you're hurting the power supply, and that means your components are going to wear out faster and the thing won't work. Well, as you can see, I've had this for a little, little uh, time, and it's still working, but I, I haven't used it consistently. So, this motor gives a great example of the brushes. It, again, it takes uh, patience to adjust the brushes so they barely touch the commutator. And when I turn on the motor here, uh, you'll notice the sparks coming off here. Uh, again, I mentioned that that's not necessarily good, but you'll see uh, it's, it's kind of fun to be able to see it. So anyway, I'm going to connect connect the uh, power source. And you have an uh, electromagnetic field being created by both these fixed magnets that don't move. The temporary magnet moving around there, the armature. Uh, is also interacting with the, the magnetic field. You can see the brushes here moving back and forth. You can barely see the uh, sparks coming off. And that's it. That uh, gives you a very nice example of a motor. The basic parts you can see uh, don't necessarily have a switch. I'm actually holding on a battery over here, but it uh, uh, gives you a good example of a DC direct current electric motor. Thanks for stopping by and uh, let our people know about uh, Motors of Fun website. Thanks.